హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈసీ అకాడమీ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ లెట్ అస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ది ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఆన్ డిఎఫ్టి హియర్ వి నీడ్ టు ఫైండ్ ది డిఎఫ్టి ఆఫ్ ది సీక్వెన్స్ ఎక్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ ఫార్ ఎన్ వాల్యూ రేంజింగ్ బిట్వీన్ జీరో టు టూ అండ్ ఎక్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ వాల్యూ విల్ బి జీరో ఫర్ అదర్ వాల్యూస్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ ఫార్ n is equal to 4 so we need to find the dft of the sequence x of n for n is equal to 4 and also we need to sketch the magnitude and phase spectrum of the obtained dft so here they have asked n is equal to 4 which means we need to find 4 point dft in exam they may ask you to find for n is equal to 8 and so on so here since n is equal to 4 they have given n is equal to 4 at that case x of n will be having the length 4 so which means it will be having 0th position first position second position and third position so the length of this sequence will be 4 so in the given problem x of n value is 1 for n value 0 1 9 2 for n value 0 1 9 2 x of n is 1 and for other values x of n is 0 so for n is equal to 3 we will write x of n is equal to 0 so this is the sequence for this we need to find the dft let us write the formula x of k is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k n for k value ranging between 0 to n minus 1. Since in the given problem n is equal to 4, at that case we can write x of k is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to 3 because 4 minus 1 is 3 x of n e to the power of minus j 2 pi by 4 again here n is equal to 4 into k to n for k value ranging between 0 to 3 so because n minus 1 is 4 minus 1 which is 3 now let us write the sequence for n ranging from 0 to 3 at that case we can write x of k is equal to if we put n is equal to 0 in this term we will get x of 0 into e to the power of minus j 2 pi by 4 k into 0 so which will be e to the power of minus 0 that will be 1 plus x of 1 when we put n is equal to 1 at that case x of 1 into e to the power of minus j 2 pi by 4 into k plus when we put n is equal to 2 it will be x of 2 e to the power of minus j 2 pi by 4 into k into 2 since n is equal to 2 when we put n is equal to 3 at that case we will get x of 3 into e to the power of minus j 2 pi by 4 into k into 3. Now this is the sequence for dft. Now we need to put different values of k and we need to find the dft. Now we know k is ranging from 0 to 3. So we will put the value of k as 0, 1, 2 and 3. First let us put k is equal to 0. At that case x of 0 will be equal to small x of 0 is 1 so we can write 1 plus x of 1 is 1 so we can write 1 into e to the power of 0 since k is equal to 0 at that case it will be 1 plus x of 2 is 1 into when we put k is equal to 0 here e to the power of minus 0 it will be 1 plus x of 3 is 0 0 into 1 
if you put k is equal to 0 here we will get 1 that is why it will be 0 into 1. So, for this we got x of 0 is equal to 3 because 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. Now, let us put k is equal to 1 at that case we can write x of 1 is equal to x of 0 is 1 plus x of 1 is 1, 1 into if we put k is equal to 1 here we need to calculate this value for that this entire term we can write it as d to the power of minus j theta is equal to cos theta minus j sin theta. So, using this formula we can write this term as cos 2 pi k by 4 minus j sin 2 pi k by 4. Since we are substituting k is equal to 1, so you can take the value of k as 1. So, let us calculate this using calculator. So, for that in the calculator you need to keep the mode as complex mode and it should be in radians. So, always remember to calculate this keep the mode in complex and radians and let us write cos 2 pi divided by 4 minus j here in your calculator you will be having i. So, directly press i here if you keep it in complex mode you can directly press i here in the calculator then write sin 2 pi divided by 4 if you press answer so we will get minus 1 below it will show small i that specifies it is minus j and if you press shift equals it is showing 0 which means it is not having real term so the solution for this is minus j so you can put minus j here plus x2 is 1 into this term we need to calculate so, so we are having e to the power of minus j 2 pi by 4 into k into 2 so 2 to the 4 so you can cancel out this so we will be left out with e to the power of j pi k so k value is 1 so we can write e to the power of minus j pi so for this we can write cos pi minus j sin pi so if you calculate this using calculator we will get answer as minus 1 so we can write minus 1 plus x3 is 0 so 0 with this term it will be 0. So, if we solve this plus 1 and minus 1 will cancel out we will get x of 1 as minus j. Now, let us put k is equal to 2 at that case x of 2 will be equal to x of 0 is 1 plus x of 1 is 1 into if you put k is equal to 2 here and if we calculate using this formula we will get minus 1 plus x of 2 is 1 into if you put k is equal to 2 here at that case we will get the value as 1 plus 0. So, we will get x of 2 is equal to 1 if you put k is equal to 3 at that case it will be x of 3 is equal to x of 0 is 1 plus x of 1 is 1 into if you put k is equal to 3 and if we calculate using this formula we will get j as an answer plus 1 into if we put k is equal to 3 in this exponential term we will get minus 1 so it will be 1 into minus 1 plus 0 since the last term x3 is 0 so we will get capital x3 is equal to j therefore we can write the dft 
of the given sequence is so from here we will write 3 comma minus j comma 1 comma j so this is the dft of given sequence for this sequence first we need to find the magnitude and phase so we need to find magnitude magnitude of x of k and we need to find the phase spectrum of x of k that can be written as angle of x of k to find this we will use the calculator and you keep the calculator in complex and radian mode and let us say we need to find the magnitude and phase of 3 for that we can first press 3 here and then press shift and press plus sign here in the calculator you will get r of angle theta so this will calculate your magnitude as well as phase if you press equal sign you will get 3 that will show magnitude so in place of magnitude we can write 3 and in place of phase spectrum we can write you press shift equals so the value is 0 so phase spectrum is 0 now let us calculate magnitude and phase for minus j so let us write minus i shift you press plus sign so you will get r at an angle theta equals so it will show 1 so 1 is the magnitude press shift equals so it is showing minus 1.570 so this value is nothing but minus pi by 2 so this is the phase so it is minus pi by 2 so in the same way take 1 for this let us find phase angle and magnitude we will get 1 as an magnitude shift equals so we will get phase angle as 0 for the next value j let us take i for this let us calculate magnitude and phase spectrum so we will get 1 as magnitude and shift equals so it is showing 1.570 that is nothing but pi by 2 so pi by 2 is the phase spectrum so we have calculated the magnitude and phase for the calculated dft let us plot the magnitude first in the x axis let us take k and in y axis let us plot the magnitude the first value is 3 so let us take the value 3 then 1 1 and 1 so this is 1 1 and 1 for k value 0 1 2 and 3 so this is the magnitude of uh, dft and the phase spectrum again in x axis let us take k and for 0 the value is 0 for 1 the value is minus pi by 2 and for 2 the value is 0 and for 3 it is plus pi by 2 so this is the phase spectrum of the dft this is about the problem on dft and how to calculate the magnitude and phase spectrum of the obtained dft hope you have understood the topic thank you